And we're walking in here with a 90% yes vote for strike action in one of the biggest turnouts there's ever been in the history of the trade union movement. And whatever happens, I guarantee you this, we'll be walking out with a 90% yes vote for strike action and we're going to win this dispute. Thanks very much. Can you explain what is this all about? Uh, today we're demonstrating uh, against Royal Mail's decision to try and get a high court uh, injunction stopping the dispute. Uh, postal workers have voted by 89% to take strike action against Royal Mail's cuts on pensions, uh, a, a pay deal which is linked to changes uh, and is only a lump sum. Uh, and a range of delivery issues and processing and mail centre issues. Uh, we are determined, without doubt, to get a good agreement. And even if today the High Court awards an injunction, they only delay in the time it will take to take strike action to get the right deal. There are concerns about uh, th this strike is, is happening in the festive time of the year. Uh, is it some kind of tactic of the union? Uh, uh, the timing of this dispute has been going on for some time. It happens to be uh, occurring during the lead up to Christmas. It is the busiest time for Royal Mail. Like they say, the union wants an agreement, not a strike. But if Royal Mail don't listen and stop their attacks on pensions, pay and changes to the pipeline, we will take strike action during the December month. Can it be longer, the strike days, longer? Uh, we announced 48 hours strike. Uh, we will probably keep to that. Uh, we're not looking at uh, basically longer at this moment in time. But this dispute can last up to six months. The ballot was still live for six months. Hopefully we can get Royal Mail to see sense, bring their main negotiators into the negotiating room and let's get a deal. If we can't, we will take strike action. Okay, can can be the action cover whole uh, Christmas time? Yes, it can do. It can cover the whole of Christmas. Uh, Again, I would say we're looking for a deal, not a strike, but we are miles apart from a satisfactory agreement. What about the postal services uh, on the Christmas time? It's, it's huge, as you know. It is. Uh, it builds up from November with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, and it parcels will be ordered all the way up, including between the Christmas Eve and New Year Eve. Period. Okay. The concerns about uh, the strike will undermine the trade uh, on postal services. Uh, yes, there might be a, a, a threat to contracts. There might be a threat to uh, the amount of parcels and letters Royal Mail get. Uh, but the attack they're making on our pensions and their pay and their t our terms and conditions has led to the workforce totally rejecting Royal Mail's revision uh, of the future. They, are, they have lost confidence in people like Moya Green, the Chief Executive, and she should listen to her workforce, come to the table, and we can prevent uh, a strike at Christmas. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Support your local postal worker. Say no to pension poverty. You know Now had imposed on us, it is clear that Royal Mail postal workers 
has shown what they think of the organisation and the structure of the Royal Mail. This is not working for workers, it may be working for Moya Green and her almost £2 million a year pay package, but it's not working for the working people. So today I wish you every luck in gaining justice and let's see what the outcome is. But you can be assured that Labour are behind you every step of the way. Thank you. Danny, you're in charge of the chickens. Can you can you take one of the chickens? We need better payment. We deserve to work in the company that's the best. The best extra people like me are fighting in our towers. Your CCW is a great tower down in the basement. We've got postman and coachman in. Oh, 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 oh,